to do is go to pixar.com and then click on Pixar E. Click create new and click 720p. You can, click, you can name it whatever you like and you click create. Now I'm gonna want my image. So you can go to this plus button and click image or layer and add images layer. If your image is a little bigger than, than the size of the canvas, I'm just gonna go and size it to fit my canvas or if you want you can it doesn't have to be that way. And I think it's cute. So I'm gonna go and click the C dots and click merge visible so it won't move or let me interact with it. I'm gonna click filter details and I'm just gonna choose a zoom blur because I'm just gonna add a tiny one just so it doesn't really show that much. I'm gonna plus imply and click filter once again and click Gaussian blur. I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna make it 100% and there we go. Now I'm just gonna go and just click layer and add images layer and go ahead and find the GFX I made and click open and here's the GFX. Um, the head looks kind of awkward since um, the move tool is broken. So um, yeah, I'm gonna br bring it to the side and I think that's really cute. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, look at, I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust this GFX because it looks really dark and weird. So I think that GFX looks really cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead. And now I'm gonna click. I want. I want to add some more detail because this is. This kind of can fade into the background easily. So I'm just gonna go and click filter, and I'm gonna click outline. I'm just gonna add a small outline. Uh, I don't think I want it. I'm gonna use filter, and ch I'm gonna choose outer glow because that kind of adds a lot of detail. I'm gonna put the feather all the way up so it kind of shows. some text I'm gonna go to this T button and I click add text I'm just gonna go ahead and go to this little icon and I'm gonna go type in whatever I like and I'm just gonna make it a little bigger and choose the font I like As you can see, there's an outline tool right there, but to make it a little more customizable, I'm just gonna go ahead and and if you want these fonts, um, I will show you. You can go to and you'll have like this all this like five new fonts, and I'm just gonna go sections I recommend using is cartoon, play geography, and Henry. cute in, in the cartoon section so i'm just gonna choose download right here and i'm gonna go to this little arrow click show and finder i'm gonna go double click on that so to add it you can just go to font and go to add now i want to customize the text but if you go to styles and you'll kind of see that the text is kind of limited and it's not the, it's not the, too detailed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to layer and click the race drive layer. I'm just gonna do below level right now and then add the highlight opacity to 70 and the shadow opacity from 70 to 50 to 60. And I think that looks cute. So I'm just gonna apply, filter, outline, is a white color once again. And apply and on once again, and just add a darker color than what I originally had. 
glossy, I'm gonna go and add an inner glow just so it really sticks out. I have to low lower around 50 and that looks cute and let's do the um maybe an outer glow and that and once again around 50. The last thing I'm gonna do a drop shadow. Which is the pussy kind of low and the blur to nothing again and I'm just gonna put that around that and I think it looks cute so I'm gonna go ahead and just make that a darker color. And that looks really cute and apply. And I'll just do this for that other text as well. So So now I finished this part, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I wanna add some overlays. So I'm gonna click layer, add image, and I'm just gonna go choose my array and click open. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this. And if you want, the, if you want to see, if you wanna like use the overlays yourself, I'll have a fold, a folder, a Google Drive folder with, the, with all the link where you can download all the, the overlays. So I like putting it to around, after adjusting it to where I like, I'm going to add it to like this. Hmm, actually no, I'm going to add it to this part. Alright, that's cute. I'm going to add it to that. 50% and I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and just go to, I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to layer a new layer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure the color is white. And I'm just gonna click on my th the little um, empty layer. I'm gonna click this Rakui tool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag, just trying to make a little border looking thing. And there we go. So I'm just gonna click a delete and then click select and deselect. And that's blur, but I don't want it to be not be transparent. So I'm just gonna put, go to the three dots and click transparency. You can go under the transparency and just click that and I think it looks really cute. So I'm just gonna go uncheck everything else. I'm just gonna go and merge all the text with each other and I'm gonna go ahead and just name it text. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just merge the background and stuff so it doesn't really get in my way. And I'll just be adding some more overlays just to really decorate it and make it look really cute. Cute. I'm gonna click the three dots and click one more and click screen. I believe it has a black background though. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make it a little um, less visible. Over how to make the thumbnail, and I'm just be, I'm gonna be using this arrow from her, so credit her for that, and also be using this cute butterfly, and I'm gonna add two thumbnails of mine that kind of matches the, this um part of theme I'm going for, and this just shows examples for my thumbnails. I'm just gonna add these two, click open, and it'll give me. That and I'm just gonna go ahead and make them all smaller so I don't, it's not gonna be really the main focus of this. I'm just gonna go and add these two right above so I, I have more control so I don't click on, on, on other things. I chose these two for these because they kind of just match with it, I guess. They kind of match the colors I put here. I'm 
put on a filter and shoot some outline. This to really make the GFX so it doesn't look like it's kind of so it doesn't look as awkward. And so I'm just gonna do that. And now I'm gonna add a little shadow to this, just so it doesn't look like it's this for a random reason, for no reason. I decided to add an outer glow instead of the shadow just because it, it looked a little more fitting. So I'm going for like a little bit, I don't know. I didn't really find any good colors for it, so. Lastly, I think I'm going to be adding arrows. So I'm going to click layer, add image layer, and choose another. And we'll choose this little arrow thing I downloaded from the rainbows. So I'm gonna be adding the, the butterfly overlay I got. So I'm just gonna go to layer, add it just layer. Once again, the overlay, the, the butterfly overlay I got. I think it, I'm just gonna go and just drag it in front of everything. I don't think I recommend putting your GFX over all the overlays just so they don't really get in the way. Of, and I'll kind of make your the GFX look a little bit weird, in my opinion. So I'm just gonna add these little butterflies right there. Once again, turn it to the rainbow for the butterflies. And click on the and just repeat once again and put it to like 70. So now, to save it, all I'm gonna do is click File, Save, and I'm just gonna name it whatever I like, and then either PNG or JPEG. For one space, I recommend putting JPEG and still putting the quality up because it'll be a little better, but it won't be as big as the PNG, and then it's gonna download.